exercising powers under Article 142 of the Constitution, the Supreme Court on May 19th passed a landmark judgment. The Supreme Court asked the states and the Union territories to implement and to act in strict compliance of certain recommendations made by a panel appointed by the court in 2011 on the rehabilitation of sex workers. Hello and welcome to Edura's Insight. I'm Amritesh Bhushan and this is the story for the day. So what is this case really about? This case had its genesis in 1999. In 2010, an appeal was filed in the Supreme Court against a 2007 order of the Calcutta High Court by which the High Court upheld the life imprisonment imposed on a man named Buddhadev Karmaskar who was found guilty of murdering a sex worker in Kolkata's red light area in 1999. In 2011, the Supreme Court dismissed Karmaskar's appeal against his conviction and sentence. The court instead, Suomoto, converted the case into a PIL or public interest litigation to address the problems of the sex workers. The Supreme Court said, we strongly feel that the central and the state governments through social welfare boards should prepare schemes for rehabilitation of all over the country for physically and sexually abused women, commonly known as prostitutes, as we are of the view that prostitutes also have a right to live with dignity under Article 21 of the Constitution, that is right to life. It issued notices seeking responses from the central and the state governments. So what happened thereafter? In 2011, the Supreme Court appointed a panel comprising senior advocates Pradeep Ghosh and Jayant Bhushan and some prominent NGOs in the field to assist and advise it for giving suitable directions in this matter. And the panel was asked to study and make suitable suggestions on prevention of trafficking, rehabilitation of sex workers who wish to leave sex work, and on conditions conducive for sex workers to live with dignity in accordance with the provisions of Article 21. So what did the panel say in its report? The panel in its report submitted in 2016 noted that sex workers found it difficult to acquire their proofs of identity like ration cards or voter cards just because they lacked a proof of residence. The panel also noted that the district authorities did not recognize the identities of sex workers and their children. And the sex workers did not have access to schemes meant for their rehabilitation. They also had no access to credit offered by the states because they lacked the documents. The committee recommended that the amendment should be made to Immoral Traffic Prevention Act 1956, the act which primarily deals with the sex workers and their profession. So how did the center respond to all of this? The center told the court that the amendments suggested by the committee were under active consideration. And in February 2020, the government's law officer informed the Supreme Court that a group of ministers has been constituted to examine the draft legislations and the report of the committee appointed by the court shall be taken into consideration by this group of ministers. So subsequently, the Supreme Court continued to monitor the developments. And in September 2020, it directed the states and the union territories to provide dry rations to sex workers identified by the National AIDS Control Organization without insisting on the proof of identity. It asked the District Legal Services Authority to assist in this. In January 2022, the Supreme Court asked the states and the union territories to complete the process of issuing the ration cards or voter cards to all the sex workers as was recommended by the panel. On May 19th, a bench led by Justice L. Nageshwar Rao noted that despite its assurances, the center was still to bring a law on the subject. 
and therefore the Supreme Court used its extraordinary powers under Article 142, which enables it to pass orders necessary to do complete justice in a pending matter. And the Supreme Court directed that some of the recommendations which relate only to rehabilitation measures in respect of sex workers and other connected issues should be implemented by the states and the union territories with immediate effect. The directions, it said, will hold the field till a legislation is made by the Union of India. So what are the recommendations that the Supreme Court has directed to be implemented? The May 19 order listed 10 recommendations of the panel and directed that six of them should be implemented. Now these include provision for immediate medical assistance for any sex worker who is a victim of sexual assault. It also directed the states to do a survey of all the Immoral Traffic Prevention Act protective homes so that cases of adult women who are detained against their will can be reviewed and processed for release in a time-bound manner. The Supreme Court also directed to sensitize the police and the other law enforcement agencies towards the right of the sex workers and to ensure that the police treat them with dignity and do not abuse them verbally or physically or coerce them into any kind of social activity. The Supreme Court has asked the Press Council of India to issue appropriate guidelines for the media to take utmost care not to reveal the identities of the sex workers. The Supreme Court also directed that measures that sex workers employ for their health and safety, like use of condoms, etc., must neither be construed as offences nor seen as evidence of commission of any offence. So these are the six recommendations that are to be implemented immediately. Now which recommendations remain pending? The centre has said that it has certain reservations on four recommendations of the panel. Now these include no criminal action against sex worker who is adult and participating with consent. The second recommendation relates to arresting only the brothel owner and not the sex workers during raid on brothels. The third one is related to the role of sex workers in decision-making process, including planning and designing of policy related to the rehabilitation of sex workers. And the last one is a recommendation regarding the children of the sex workers. The Supreme Court has asked the Centre to file its response to the recommendations of the panel within six weeks. So this is all about the case related to the sex workers in which the Supreme Court has given this landmark directions or the judgment. The Supreme Court in its capacity is actively trying to address the rehabilitation of sex workers and also providing them a life of dignity. The government should also play its part and the onus ultimately falls upon us, that is the members of the society. We need to shed our social dogma and treat sex work as a profession. So that's all for today's story. For more informative videos, keep watching Ediora. Thank you.